Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's take a look at adding audio to video transitions. Okay, we've all used video transitions where you have a fade from one clip to another like this, or maybe it's a push or a wipe. And sometimes it's useful to actually put a sound effect on that. And you, I mean, you can put it on everything if you want, but if it's a more stylized thing, if it's an up-tempo, opening, upbeat kind of thing, then it, it's cool to do that. It's You can do that a lot. But sometimes I'll show you an example where you don't always need it. So let me play that back the timeline. I've got a few examples, and then we'll play the same thing without the sound effects. All right, same thing, and I'll mute the sound effects. All right, let's go look at what I've got. So for the first one, I'm gonna double click on this. And you can see by the sound wave, this sound effect starts from quiet and ends quiet, and it ramps up and ramps down. So when I play it in here, I'll turn off the music. Now this one did take me a little bit of, of moving the position of each one of those clips. I'll, I'm gonna drag this over to a separate section and then we'll, we'll make it from scratch, but I just want you to, to see these. Now this next one, if we open this up, and now I tried several different sound effects in here I because the ground bumps a few times. I tried to find something that bumped a few times and I found that you didn't need it. The timing, it really didn't matter. But when we turn this off, it makes, it's just not as impactful. I'll turn it back on. And this really isn't a transition as much as another image. So if we open this up, the position, I'm just changing the position of that and, and changing it from out of view to, and then I drop it down a bit, but, but just so it has a, that movement in there. And when you add that, that bang, this one really works. Okay, now the next one, this I found interesting, watch this. I'm gonna play you, because when I was making this tutorial, I just kept the same music, and then I added this reverse record effect. Let's, let's look at this one. I'll open up the sound effect so we can hear it. You can see this one doesn't start quiet. I mean, there is a little transition of, of the beginning, but, but it has that record kind of spinning uh, a sound and then it goes to nothing. 
So I, this is where the cut is, but you notice I actually have this earlier. Because I have it on this effect, which is a cross zoom. It's zooming between the two. So the record starts here. But what I want to show you, I'll play you this again. I don't think this record thing sounds as good as it could. Because I think the motion is good. I think her disappearing back and the, and the transition and the push and the boom, that's cool. The record effect, but the music... Eh, not so much. So I thought, well, let me try this with different music. So here's the exact same clips, transition, and sound effect, but with different music. And you'll see how much different this sounds. <laughs> One more. Now, what's making this work is if we look at the music, I put a cut in there. So that's not the original music. The original music at that point. So there wasn't a nice impact. So I actually cut the music so that when it's switching at that point, it switches to a new beat. And what I did, I'm a musician, so I listened to the beat three, four, one, two, three, four, cut. And then I listened to the second piece and I found the cut point. <laughs> But that worked much, much better to have it there. Okay, now the last one here, this is what I mean when I say you don't always need a, a, a transition. I, this is a cheesy one, but I left it there on purpose. Yikes, that little twinkle. Maybe you like it. I think it's way too cheesy. And let's watch this scene without the transition. Much more intimate, much less in your face. It doesn't need it. So let's go back to that, that first one. And I'll copy that over to here. And I'll mute that music first. So, what did I use for this one? Oh, yeah. So, for this, I actually used a VR transition. So, if we go to our video transitions and look under the immersive, this one is the spherical that one. So technically, you're not even supposed to use this with something that isn't equirectangular, isn't VR. But I like this effect. I think this is pretty cool. This spins around like that. Okay, so let me take that out. The hardest part for me for this was finding the right point with his arm down and her... And her mm, doing that. So if we cut just on her hand here, just that hand and him down, and then drop these two in, I'm going to keep the same uh, position of where that was. You see, that doesn't make sense. So I had trouble trying to figure out where this guy, where this guy's hand mm, right there.
and then her a little bit earlier. Yeah, that's it. Well, I didn't have as much trouble there, but uh, definitely the last time uh, when I tried this, it took a little bit longer for me to get to there. And if you look here at the wave, remember this is a wave that goes quiet to loud to quiet. What you're trying to do is find the right feeling. So the peak of this is in the middle of this cut. But at the same time, these are mathematical things that you, well, it gets loud here. The cut is here. You also have to go by your feeling. You play it over and over and over again. If it seems wrong, it probably is wrong. If it just seems smooth, then it's probably right. So trust yourself on this one. And if it's a little bit too early, Oh, did that work still? Well, maybe that worked. Maybe a little bit earlier. You see, that's obviously wrong. And what I'm doing is I'm selecting the clip, holding down the Alt key on Windows, the Option key on Mac, and hitting my left and right arrow, and I'm nudging that around. And you could also set an endpoint, I, O, and then go to your button bar and drag down the loop. Click OK, loop this, make sure this is selected. This might seem a little bit jerky, but it's gonna loop around that and I can hold the Alt Option, boop, 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 and move that clip and play it. Yeah, maybe our in and out is a little bit uh, too far. Okay, and you could try any kinds of, of uh, sound effects in there if you want. I, I saved a bunch of, you know, there's a hit, is this one? Oh, we used that one. So let's drag this one in just to see what it's like. Obviously, that's too early. Eh. And the reason that one doesn't work is, is there's no anticipation. It just bangs. So it, it's, it doesn't work. I don't know if that one's gonna work. Again, I'm looking at the sound wave. Yeah. What actually works is the amount of, of time, the actual tempo from when his arm is up is when he's down to ba-ba-ba, ba-ba-ba, that actually works. Although I still like the other one better. Destructive impacts. Now, here's something I want to show you, what you can do, is remember I told you that this one just has a wave at the beginning, so it doesn't go from silence, it starts right away. Let's try this. So I'm going to duplicate this one. So hold Alter Option, duplicate it, select it, right click, speed, reverse, Okay, it's now reversed. So when you put the two together, we actually have two of them. We have, well, let's listen to it. Well, a little bit jerky. And that's probably because if we zoom in a little bit, If we cut that, and by the way, what we can do is go to the little flyout menu, show audio time units. 
And what that allows us to do is to move the cuts for the audio at smaller amounts than a frame. So why don't we cut this where we have a lot of sound, the sound is bigger, and cut this where the sound is larger. So we're manufacturing our own quiet, loud, loud, quiet. I'm, I'm hearing a little bit too much of a bang, bang going on in there. So let's try moving, whoop, let's try moving this just a little bit. Ah, maybe it, it's, it's not the right one for that, but you get the idea where we've manufactured our own sound effect that goes from quiet, loud, quiet. You could squish it, you could stretch it, we could do all of those crazy things. Now, I do wanna show you where I got all of these uh, whooshes and bangs and stuff, and that's from Artlist.io. Artlist has a bunch of sound effects in there, and look, there's whooshes and transitions right here. Short, long, risers, downers, reverse, so, And listen to these risers. Some of these are really crazy. And you can tell the duration of, of these by the sound wave. So this one's gonna be a little bit smaller, shorter. Whoa. That's a long one. Let's try this one here. Ooh, yeah. If you're listening to that with headphones on, it's actually bopping around both sides. So if you like something like that, you just click on this button here, direct download, Download A, see your wave depending on the, the sound, of, and you download it in there. Let's put that. So there's that. And now I'm just going to double click and bring that in. There it is. And I could drag that in there, get rid of what I have. Ooh, that's interesting. So I think you get the idea, sometimes adding sound to a transition, a video transition can really add a great effect. And uh, it really does depend on the style, what you're trying to say, does it fit? Artless.io, holy smokes, thousands of choices to, to try out. Drop it. I've got a link in the description where you get an extra two months. I'm an affiliate, so check that out if you want to join up and uh, see what's going on at Artless. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that through the VideoRevealed.com website. Donate once or monthly, any amount. We appreciate it all. We love all of our wonderful donors and uh, all of the wonderful things that you can get on Video Reveal. There's a bunch of free things, and uh, there's also the member site. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to uh, kick up your creative juices and uh, let you know that there's a lot of cool things you can do to video and audio and transitions than just stick it dissolving.